Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. The America's Regional Finals for the GeoGuessr World Cup 2024 start tomorrow. I am one of the eight players competing in this tournament, so I just wanted to sit down and talk about my thoughts surrounding the entire event and everything that I've been preparing for. By the way, everyone, we are really close to 40,000 subscribers. It would be amazing if we could hit that by the end of the month. If you've been watching my channel lately but haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button. I would really appreciate it. When this video goes live, I will already be in Stockholm preparing for the event along with my seven fellow players, which are of course, Fao, Jinji, Jake Lyons, Moo, Orlando, Totem, and Flime. If you don't know too much about the World Cup this year, this is the first time that we have these regional finals, and the Americas are up first, and then there's going to be a Europe, Middle East, and Africa final, as well as Asia and the Pacific. So the players who do the best in these regional events will move on to the official World Cup in September, and from the Americas, I believe five of us are going to make it out. I am really excited to be representing the US in the first ever regional final for GeoGuessr. It's also a huge honor that I was directly invited to compete along with Fao and Jake Lyons. The three of us were in the actual World Cup last year, so we got direct invites to this final. The other five players had to compete in the pre-qualifiers, which were online, and then they clinched these five spots that were left. It's gonna be pretty interesting how this goes. I'm recording this on February 18th, and we still don't really know what the format is gonna be, so I'm very curious how it's all gonna go down starting tomorrow, when this video goes live. Well, I take back what I said yesterday. It's the 19th now, and Geogus are just revealed the groups and the format and everything. I barely have time to sit down and talk about this, so let's quickly run through it. Group Group A, we got Totem, Flime, Orlando, and Fao. And then in Group B is going to be Moo, Jinji, Jake, and myself. So it seems like they grouped us sort of by country here. All the US players are in one group along with Moo, and then Fungus, the other Canadian, hanging out with South America. Definitely an interesting choice for groups. They're going for country diversity, I think, for the people who are going to make it out of each group to qualify for the final World Cup. So they want some South Americans, it looks like, to be guaranteed. Here's a graphic they made with the groups. Looks pretty cool. We all have this, like, jersey on with the color of the America's finals. That's kind of cool, but... Uh, let's scroll down to the game format here. Looks pretty similar to the World Cup last year. We got a 10 round game limit once again. If it's not over in 10 rounds, whoever has the most health remaining wins. So just like last year's World Cup, 6,000 starting health. 60 seconds per round in total. Once somebody guesses, there's only 15 seconds left. And then uh, it's going to be best of three and best of five game mode. So yeah, very similar to what happened last year. Moving, then no moving, then NMPZ. And again, just like last year, multiplier start on round two. When I recorded this yesterday, I said I wasn't really sure how this was going to go because I didn't know the groups or the format, but now that we do, I can make a bit more of a prediction. I honestly, I don't like my odds. I know Jake, Jinji, and Moo are all such strong players, probably on the stronger side of all eight of us here, so I'm definitely feeling a bit worried, but I think I can hold my own against them. Overall, I think it's going to be a pretty damn close group. Again, especially with this 10 round limit, you just never know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to make it work, but definitely feeling quite nervous. Well, with that said, make sure to follow me on Twitter, guys, uh, and let's go back to me from yesterday. Speaking a bit more generally, though, about how I feel about going back to Stockholm and how I'm feeling about competing again. I've definitely been a little bit stressed out about it recently. I've been trying not to think about it too much, but every time I do, it gets the heart pump and the nerves are flowing. I feel like since the World Cup last year, my skill level has plateaued a little bit or even decreased a bit. I've been putting a lot of work into videos here on the YouTube channel, running tournaments on Twitch as well, since this is now my job. Playing GeoGuessr competitively and practicing has sort of taken a backseat in the last few months for me, and I've definitely noticed the effect that that's had on my skills. I feel like at my core, I still have my strengths. What makes me a strong player, but I think I'm getting a little bit rough around the edges here, but I think what's really going to be important for me is keeping the mental game strong. I played in last year's World Cup. I didn't do that badly. I very nearly made it out of the group stage, so I know I have what it takes. I just have to channel that energy, stay positive, and face these players and do my best. That's all I can do. But I would definitely be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. I've definitely stayed up a few nights thinking about how crazy this is going to be, and I just got to keep a level head, not think about it too much, and we'll see what happens. The other thing I want to mention quickly is the press release that came out on February 5th. This revealed all of our full names, the players competing, and I don't think very many people saw this press release, which I'm kind of happy about, you know, keeping my name a little bit more private. I'm not going to link this in the description or anything, but you can find it on the website if you want to. <laughs> the other awesome thing about this is the overall prize pool is 100k, but 14.4k of that goes to the America's Finals, so we have our own little prize pool here, which is really cool. Hopefully I can get some of that prize money. <laughs> That's just a really cool bonus on top of what's already an incredibly amazing opportunity. We're also going to be competing in the GeoGuessr studio itself, which is really cool. For last year's World Cup, I think I was literally the last person to fly into Stockholm, so I didn't get as much of a chance to see the GeoGuessr HQ. So I'm definitely excited to have more of an opportunity to see the GeoGuessr HQ, get to know the staff a bit better and things like that, because last year I didn't have much of a chance. I almost forgot to mention this, just in case you don't know where to watch this online, it's going to be on GeoGuessr's official Twitch and YouTube channels. They're going to be live streaming on both of those, so check out the broadcast. I hope you guys can tune in and cheer me on. This is probably 
going to end up being a pretty short video, but I just wanted to sit down, share a few of my thoughts about this event before I fly off to Stockholm. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you from Stockholm tomorrow.